Hey guys, this is Jessica Rasik with VVIP. We're currently here with golf superstar Paige Spiranak. Welcome back to Dubai. We know you were here last year. How are you feeling since you landed? Great. Um, over the jet lag, so we're all good to go. <laughs> and and you've obviously last year you didn't get to, you just mentioned, but this year you got to celebrate the UAE's 45th birthday. So what did you do? What have you been doing since you landed here? Um, a lot of things, but I think the best day was National Day with the whole fireworks show. It was incredible. It was like the finale. It was like going, 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 and it was awesome. Good. Well, we're glad you joined it. So tell us how you actually came to this collaboration here with the Dubai Ladies Masters and Omega. So um, a year ago was the first time I was here, and they actually reached out to me and gave me an invitation, and then they said I can come back again. So always glad to be here. Um, everyone here is so awesome, and I love supporting women's golf and doing everything I can for them. So tell us, because I know that you originally started off in gymnastics, and then you made the mm -hmm. switch to golf. Tell us about this story, because I'm sure so many people would love to hear about this. <laughs> So I was a competitive gymnast um, for a long time and then I fractured my kneecap twice and had a couple really bad injuries and so I ended up quitting and then my dad said that um, he thinks I would love golf, it fits my personality really well and I hit the first shot and loved it right away and been doing it ever since. Well, you're obviously incredibly talented and you've amassed a massive social media following, but we'll talk about that later. But basically, I mean, golf, it's such a huge change from gymnastics. Mm -hmm. So um, what was your inspiration and when did you kind of decide that you liked it? And and what, what are some of the experiences that you've had that you can share with us? Because I'm sure that there's a lot of interesting stories, especially for ladies starting out with golf. So tell us everything. <laughs> Um, I loved golf right away. It was something that, like I said, fit my personality. I loved just being able to go out there by myself. I could just put music in and practice for hours, and it was great. And golf is such an amazing sport. It brings so many people together. And I think yeah. the most incredible thing is just I've been able to travel and meet so many people. Like, I'm in Dubai right now. Like, <laughs> what? That's insane. Golf took me here. And I think that's, like, the best thing ever is being able to just go around, meet new people. And I've had so many great experiences just, like, by just meeting all these people who love golf everyone loves golf and it just brings you together right away and it's just a connection that you have with everyone well this is really amazing and I'm and I'm sure there's a lot of female golfers either professionals or starters out there so what are some of the what's some of the best advice or some of the experiences that you've had that you could pass on to these people who look up to you as their <laughs> idol um, what are some of the things that you can pass on some of your knowledge or some of your advice for the, for the girls starting out Make it fun. I think people t take it way too seriously. So go with a big group of girlfriends um, and just have a good time. Enjoy it. You know, it, you're, it's going to be kind of like a hard start because it's a, it's a weird sport and it takes some time and some repetition to get to where, where it's more fun. Um, but just go and enjoy it. Make it a social activity. Like go have fun driving the golf cart around and have like a lunch after and um Top golf, I don't, they don't have it here, but I think they're coming soon. It's like this awesome driving range and make it games out of it and just have it be fun and awesome and, you know, go wear cute clothes and just have a good time. Just make it fun. Well, this is amazing advice. So I'm sure you <laughs> ladies out there are definitely going to benefit from this. Maybe some guys, who knows? Yeah. But definitely, um, one of the things we'd like to ask you as well, I mean, you, you've obviously got a massive social media following mm -hmm. and probably the highest I guess for any golf female golfer in the world so how have you been dealing with the the fame I mean it was such a huge shoot up to the you know the rise <laughs> of fame which must have been really difficult for you so could you tell us about this uh, journey yeah it was really difficult at first um it happened so fast and I didn't really know how to handle it and like I said before I'm actually pretty introverted and shy so to have to do all of this stuff was very overwhelming and it's taken pretty much until now to kind of embrace all of it and use it as a platform for good and to kind of grow the game of golf and um, I'm going to do a lot with anti-bullying organizations coming up and you know I've been bullied through um, Instagram and doing a lot of cyberbullying stuff and it's you know it's hurtful so now I'm able to like use this as a platform to share that my experiences hopefully help you know young people dealing with it and even at just anyone because it always hurts when yeah. you know it's such a way for people just to say whatever they want and, and you know it, it does hurt and yeah. so but it's good now that I can kind of use it for good and embrace it. See, this is really nice. You don't always get to see this blend of beauty, skill, and humanity, especially <laughs> when you reach fame, honestly. So it's really inspiring for us. So we're really happy that you've you've come you know, here today, not just today, I mean this whole trip, and that, that you've taken time to speak with us today. And of course, given some really um, wise words of advice. Um, for girls who actually do want to become famous yeah. and bloggers and these kind of things or athletes, what are some of the words of advice you can give, some positive words of advice um, to you know, putting yourself out there um, and just perfecting your craft, whether it be blogging or golf or anything at all? 
I think the most important thing is to be yourself. So everything that I post is what I want to post and it's my personality. And I think you see a lot of people trying to become famous mm -hmm. and they do what you think you're supposed to do. And it didn't, then it just turns into what everyone else is doing. So just do what you want to do. Like if you're goofy, show that side. If you're more serious, show that side too. Like just be yourself. And I think people will embrace that and they like, they like authenticity. So just do what you want to do and enjoy it and have fun with it. Cause then people will enjoy it too. They want to have fun watching you do what you love for sure well thank you so much Paige it was we're so happy to have you here with us today and we can't wait to see what's going to happen with the rest of your career and hopefully come back next year as well and grace us with your presence thank, thank you, you.